Schools are seeing the harmful trend of vaping as millions of teens continue to buy and use e-cigarettes. WDHN's Allison Polk tells us how one local school is trying to reverse that trend. Just this year, more than 2 million American high school and middle school students reported using e-cigarettes, according to the CDC. Here in Dothan, schools are seeing more and more students vaping. That pushed Carver 9th Grade Academy to do something about it. So it's just really trying to give the well-roundedness of a approach to students to have the information that this vaping is very dangerous for you. Carver's principal reached out to 334 Prevention Program, a nonprofit in Dothan that works to prevent substance abuse. Their goal here at Carver is to not only teach students how harmful vaping can be, but also debunk the myths. Many of these students are tricked into believing that vaping nicotine is going to reduce their stress, reduce their anxiety, but anybody who knows how a stimulant works knows that that's the complete opposite of what a stimulant does. Researchers say high school students are likely more knowledgeable about vaping and its effects than most adults. But this anti-vaping program is meant to give students a safe space to ask the questions that may be burning in their minds, all in hopes of seeing a change. A changed mind, a changed heart, a changed behavior. Because our students are very easy to say uh, yes to some of these things. We want them to have the information so that they can say no. Even though many students consider vaping a safer option than smoking, nicotine is still the primary ingredient in both regular and e-cigarettes. Which means it's not only another way to create an addiction, it's also a health hazard for your heart and lungs. Reporting in Dothan, Allison Polk, WDHN News for The Wiregrass.